students in this section we are going to talk about the introductory part of a chapter food and its component so let's get started so here you can see two kind of food items one is going to be served to us by our mothers at the home right and on the other side we can see some of the delicious food items like the pizza burger which we really enjoy then why is it so that some of the food items are going to be referred to as healthy food and some of the food items are going to be considered as the unhealthy food what makes a food healthy or unhealthy so understanding this of the fact we require knowledge of basic terms basic topics related to the food right that what is food then from where we are going to obtain the food right and same way what components are going to make the food and how does these food components are going to help us in maintaining good health state okay and what can happen if these components are not provided to us in a proper amount so for getting answers of all these questions we are going to learn the chapter food and its component so the first thing which we are going to discuss is what is food so how you can define the food for defining the food you can use a statement that food is a substance that is going to provide the nutritional support to your body right so any substance which you consume which is providing you with the nutritional support that is going to be considered as food and this food is going to be the combination of many kind of substances which are going to be organic as well as inorganic in nature and these of the substances will be providing us with some of the raw materials which are going to help us obtain the energy which are going to help us grow which are going to help us in maintaining our bodies right so we need to understand what are organic and inorganic substances that the food is made up of okay so if we consume the food we are going to see that the food is going to be obtained from the living source as well as sometimes the non living source so whatever food items whatever substances you are getting from the living source whatever components you are getting from the living source those all are organic substances in nature whereas if we talk about the substances that are obtained from non living source such as the salt that is inorganic substances and those of the inorganic substances also provide us with some of the raw materials which are going to help us in performing many of the functions inside a body okay so i hope the basic terms organic and inorganic substances are very much clear now students next we are going to talk about the origin of the food so the food is going to be obtained from two of the living sources either it can be a plant or it can be an animal so whenever the food is going to be obtained from the plant source we are going to call it as the plant product and if it is obtained from the animal source it is going to be referred to as the animal products and we consume both when we are talking about the food okay i hope this particular term is also very much clear that the origin of the food is going to be of two types either it is going to be belonging to the category plant origin or an animal origin okay now we eat a variety of food in day to day life okay so if we go from one place to another place in a country also we are going to see that we are having variety of cuisines which are being served at different of the places okay why is it so because at different of the places the food preferences of the people change right because the preparation of the food can be done differently in different parts of the world 
okay so at one place you are going to have some different kind of food being served at some other place you are going to have that only those of the uh, raw materials being utilized in a different way being prepared in a different way and making some other of the food items over there okay so the food preferences can be different when we are talking about the different places the different people and that is why we are able to enjoy such a huge variety of food items that we eat in day to day life okay now students we are going to talk about some of the terms that are related to the food so here are the terms the first term which we have over here is menu so what is a menu so if we go to a restaurant the restaurant has its own list of different of the dishes which are being served over there so that particular list which contains the name of all the different kind of delicious dishes which are being served at that particular place that list is going to be referred to as menu the second term which we have over here is ingredients what are ingredients so for preparation of any of a dish we require some raw substances and all those raw substances all those raw materials which we need to prepare a different kind of dish a separate dish that particular category of materials all those materials will be called as the ingredients of that particular dish okay then the third term which we have over here is meal so what is a meal meal is the food that you are consuming at different times of the day okay so whatever food you consume in the day at different intervals they all are your meals so how we are going to be differentiating between different of the meals if we are taking a meal in the early morning that particular meal is going to be called as the breakfast and if we talk about the meal which is going to be consumed in the afternoon that is going to be referred to as the lunch and if we talk about the meal which is going to be consumed by us in the late evening or the night time that particular meal will be called as the dinner okay so i hope all these particular terms related to the food are also very much clear now students next we are going to talk about the different of the functions that the food is going to perform inside the living organism's body so first function which the food performs is providing you with energy so here you can see children are playing same way in our day to day life we also perform variety of functions variety of activities and for performing all that particular variety of activities we require some amount of energy and that energy is going to be obtained by us by the food that we are consuming in the day time right in the day whatever food we consume that particular food provides us with the energy so the food provide us the energy which we use for performing different of the activities the other function that the food is going to perform is helping us in growth we talk about the plants if we talk about the animals in both the living organisms body the food is going to provide the raw substances which are required for growth of the living organism here you can see the different of the stages of the human baby growing and in during these particular stages you are going to see there is an increment in the height so for increment in the height also some of the raw substances are going to be required by the human baby and all that raw substances are being provided to the human baby by the food that the baby consumes right same way the food also help us in a repairing of injured part so if in case of an injury we are having the damaged part for repairing of that damaged part we require some raw substances and all those raw substances will be provided by the food that we are consuming okay i hope this particular function of the food is also very much clear and the last function of the food that it performs is providing us with protection so we are having a variety of microorganisms in our surroundings which are going to be responsible for a variety of infection for a variety of diseases but we do not get infected so frequently and that is because our body is continuously fighting and the tendency of our body to fight back 
against those of the disease causing microorganisms or the pathogens is going to be referred to as immunity of the body and the immunity of the body can be improvised by the raw substances again which are provided to the living organism by the food that it is consuming. So these all are the functions that the food performs in the body of a living organism. I hope you are very much clear with all of them. Now students, next we are going to talk about few of our questions related to the Olympiad section. So here the first question which you can see on the screen states that choose the incorrect statement. So here we have to choose the incorrect statement from the given sets of statement. So we are having the statement number one as food is a combination of only organic substances which we know is an incorrect statement because the food is a combination of organic as well as inorganic substances right. The second statement says that at an organism derive energy from the food which is correct. Food is usually of plant or animal origin again this is also correct. The food releases energy to maintain life and stimulate growth this is also correct okay so the only incorrect statement which we have over here is statement number one so the answer to this question is going to be option number one okay i hope the answer is very much clear now let's see the next of the question over here which is having two of the statement one is an assertion the other one is the reason okay so we have to identify if the reason is actually explaining you the reason why the assertion is correct okay so the assertion says various materials needed to prepare a food item are called as ingredient which is correct the reason to prepare a dish of boiled rice we need just two materials this is also correct for preparing the boiled rice we require only the water and the rice but the reason is not giving you an explanation of the assertion so we are going to go for the option number two which states that both a and r are true but r is not the correct explanation of a that is the assertion so the correct option to this question is going to be option number two okay so i hope the answer to this question and this section is very much clear to you